Alright, once more with feeling. Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more to Sky 4, Promise Revisited. Last time, we went up against, uh, against the Abaddon leader, Death the Measle, the President's son, and we lost because I let him win, just to see what kind of ending we would get. It ended in tragedy. This time, we are going to actually take the threat seriously and do the thing. We all need to see the demo again. So, Imizel. He's a level 7 president's son. He likes stabs and bows, mostly stabs. I mean, look at that inaptitude. Does more damage to single unit. To it with a single target spells. And his main attack is fire. I'll show you sardine power. That being said, I've taken the time to grind everybody up a little, including the uh Forgive me. including some of the my monster units. Forgive me. I've also taught uh, just about everybody some skills they should be able to use. Prinnies do not yet know Krillin Bonds, sadly. But, you know, whatever. Now, something I should note about Rutile is that the game actually gets her, uh, her weapon aptitudes wrong. She likes fists. So, uh, if you put a sword on her like I did, yeah, she doesn't learn sword skills. She learns fist skills. Your back is wider. Alrighty, we've taken out a couple of their units in the first turn. Val and Fenric are making a pretty awesome team together. The other thing about Rutile is she can be a backup healer. She learns healing spells. Pretty great.
We're just gonna have to wait for him to make his move, I guess. And that's his move! Bye, Prinny! Arrow to the back. the printies. Why should I? Why should I do that? If you know that the printing population has grown so large, it's causing a bunch of problems in another world, don't you? First of all, printies are straight up criminals. Who cares if they're gone? And what's the big deal? It takes a printy hundreds of years to pay off its sins. The whole netherworld will be destroyed at this rate. That's why we have to get rid of them. There's no other way. Fenric. Yes, my lord. As you command. Whoa! I thought I was dead for sure, dude. Don't relax just yet. The Corruptament has decided to exterminate all Prinnies. I promise to give each of you a sardine, but once that promise is fulfilled, what happens next is none of my concern. Well... <laughs> no way, dude! You gotta help us! Oh, unfortunately, my schedule is all booked up. I don't have time to be meddling with you, Prinnies. So, so, just what is it that you have to do, dude? Can it really be more important than our lives? Naturally! I have to go straighten up our irresponsible president and our rotten corruptiment. What, dude? You, 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 you gotta be kidding me. You couldn't even do that in your wildest dreams, idiot. The corruptiment are the real idiots. Huh? Increasing is because the corruptiment has slacked off on scaring the humans to keep them in line. Exterminating the pretties while putting themselves on a pedestal isn't going to solve anything in the long run. This place will soon be filled with the souls of rotten humans once again. Well, that's... If the Corruptorman can't even see that, we're headed for a worldwide crisis. That is why I must go! To awaken the President from his delusions! We know that you care a lot about the netherworld, dude! But you should think about us and help us out, dude! As our pretty instructor! As your pretty instructor? What could possibly be bothering you, my lord? The pretties aren't worth saving. with only two options, so choose whichever you like. Get exterminated by the Corruptimint, or become our Lord's loyal vassals. I won't let the Corruptimint exterminate you if you become my vassals. I'll promise you that. However, being my vassals won't be easy, but I'm sure you'll be able to pay off your sins much faster. Didn't you, rascal? Now run along home and tell your father. If your rotten brain has forgotten the spirit that makes proud demons, I, Malvatores, shall make you remember. And this is how demons from Hades, the Netherworld's prison, arose to his mission. His name is Valvatores, the tyrant. And he has boldly taken the first step towards stopping the wheel of corruption. Axel, I promise.
promise you right here, right now, that I'll never forget the passion and bravery that led you to your death. Farewell, Axel. Take this as my tribute to your memory. It's a fish. Yep, it's a fi it's half a fish. <laughs> I heard they're used to repel evil in some parts of the human world. That might be taken as an offense rather than a kind offer. Oh well. Hey you! What the hell do you think you're doing helping the Prennies? What you've done is unforgivable. This means war. War, I say! We, the Prenny Exterminators, declare an all-out war against you! Dun, dun, dun. The pretty exterminators make a sudden appearance. A shocking truth is revealed. The kanji for the word sardine is a combination of the characters fish and weak. What is going on here? Are you talking about sardines again? Some say that's because sardines weaken quickly after they're taken out of the water. That is absolutely not true. They're nutritious and are even used to repel evil thanks to their potent smell. Couldn't possibly be weak. From now on, let's officially make the combination of fish and strong the correct kanji spelling for sardine. Oh, by the way, sardina is sardine in Russian. Next time, <laughs> episode two, Hell's legendary sardine roll. Eat sardines to power up, dog. Just don't cry to me. Hey, don't ignore me! Ugh, I won't stand for this! <laughs> well, that happened. <laughs> so, next time, we will see what this girl with the printy jacket wants. Uh, until then, later, everybody.